So the buffet goodness of skating in women continued in Riga, where it was kind of confirmed that we are going to have a showdown between the Japanese and the South Korean junior ladies this season. Here we had our most diverse podium. We had um, Jia Shen from South Korea. We had So um, Soho Lee from America. And then we had um, Mia um, Nik Nakai from Japan. So much open skating. So much in the air, full rotation jumping. Although Jia did not have a perfect outing here, I really think if her team can keep her healthy and not push the ultra C elements before she's ready, Gia can be a contender for 2026. There is something special about this young skater, and her team understands that figure skating is a visual judge sport, and they are always on top of the packaging. I cannot wait to see how Gia grows this season in these programs. Soho Lee was a complete and pleasant surprise for me in Riga. The basic technique is good. Musicality, ice coverage, packaging, all good. However, with only one competition, I, I really can't say where I see her ending the season. Um, Ami is another fine young Japanese woman skater. And she is confirming the fact that Japanese junior and senior women might just be a bloodbath come national this year. Um, while the juniors were having their moment, the senior ladies were also making their presence felt. Um, we had a couple of senior Bs um, where we got to meet some of the U.S. women. We saw Isabel Levito, we saw Lindsay Thorngreen, and we also saw our favorite dark horse, Miss Gracie Gold. However, the quality of the videos online was so poor that I can't really form an opinion on their material or determine where they are in the season so far. We also had an early um, head-to-head -head with the South Korean women. We had like um, Yiling Kim and Young Yoo at the U.S. International Figure Skating Classic. I have to say that Miss Kim is not playing this, this season. Having missed out worlds due to COVID, she came back with determination. Miss Kim was giving us face for days. So far from all the competitions I've seen, Yelin has two of my favorite programs this season. Um, Yu Young, Young's program, I think, are still in progress. Um, however, I feel like she will eventually grow into them. I'm not really worried about Young as to where she is this season because it's it's pretty early. So I'm not really worried about her. While the South Korean women were in North America, the Japanese women were in Europe. First off, Ri Amrenka Watanabe, her long program at Lombardia Trophy was the most relaxing piece of figure skating that I have seen in years. There was no tension watching her. Miss Re Miss Renka had a job to do and she got it done. Now the question is, can her and her team keep up that same level for the remainder of the season, especially with her not having any Grand Prix assignment. Without that exposure, can she really have the motivation to keep things going, to get to Nationals and to get on that team? We're just going to have to wait and see. Um, we also had Lakari um, Sakamoto debuted her post-Benoit program. This is her post-Benoit era. Um, at first, when I heard that she was doing her short to Janet Jackson, I was like, oh, no. However, I have to say I really like the choice of music that Rohin picked. Both programs are currently skating Kaori. I have to say that the programs are skating her instead of her skating them. However, I really think as the season progress, these programs will be a vehicle for Kaori to grow. This will give her a chance to extend and expand her skating vocabulary. And I'm really looking forward to see what she does. Or if she even decides to keep these programs, she might decide to go back to something a little more comfortable. We don't know. But I hope she does decide to keep these programs because, you know, as a skater, as an artist, you do have to grow. And then rounding up the podium was, of course, Ekaterina Karakova delightful as always. Her skating is so light and joyful. It is so just 
airy that I think both me and the judge are just out here ignoring the fact that she's cheating these jumps. We know she's doing it, but we're just going to ignore it. As for my beloved Wakaba Higuchi, I think this is another season of candle burning for us. Oh, skating gods, please help Wakaba. Wakaba, take the time and get healthy. I want to see you healthy. Also, this is unrelated, but for some reason, I would love to see a healthy Wakaba skate both of um, Kari's programs. I don't know why, but it's just stuck in my head. All in all, I am really looking forward to this season because I really have no idea who amongst these women is going to step up and say, this is my season, these are my titles to lose or win, and I'm going to take them. I have no idea who's going to be the last woman standing. What about you guys? Who do you think is going to be the last one standing? Let me know in the comments.